Grace and Blessings now. Grace and Blessings. Your brother Dwayne is from hell. He's going to improvise. He's going to still bring his word out. I want to share this scripture with you. Ezekiel chapter 38. Which speaks to the end time. There will be a gathering of the covenant. The tribes of Jacob, twelve tribes of Israel. Probably you ask yourself, why am I saying that? What does that have to do with the so-called Negro? Well, you are in fact the descendants of Jacob and his sons which are the 12 tribes of Israel. You are not Gentile, as you have been led to believe, because Genesis 10 speaks otherwise. Read it and know it. So I want to share with you what's to happen in the end days, because we are living in the end times now. And you should know this. Your blueprint is this word, man. And the Most High is going to gather you from the nations. You've been scattered. That's how you know it's you, because it speaks to the people that have been scattered. Ezekiel 37, or Ezekiel 38. I'm just going to read a few scriptures. Ezekiel 37, starting at verse 16, on down to 27. I know this us because right now you have Negroes and other so-called Negroes that are scattered around the world, just as the book says they would be the children of the Most High. You got them awakening like me and receiving instructions from the book, fam. We didn't try your governments, we didn't try your education, we didn't try your schools. Now, you need to try the most high, your creator. That's the only way you're gonna overcome the world, fam. Your institutions, higher learning, none of that is gonna bring you out of what's going on. These nations are being judged, family. Why? Because the children of Israel, of Jacob, southern kingdom, and the northern tribes of Israel have been scattered. And these people that did it is in the land today. Do you not think that the same Elohim who who said, if you disobey my commandments, that this will happen. It's not gonna test the Gentiles and other nations. According to his word, we all gonna be judged, man. Although we know the word wasn't given to you. But at the same time, we got a judge who's gonna judge the earth, the maker and creator of the world. That's right. And if you've never heard this before, I advise you to pay attention. Yeah, yeah. This is not a religious cult. I don't follow no religious groups. I study the book. And the, the Ruach of the Most High, which is his spirit, it leads and guides me to all truth. So we're going to pray that the spirit. Or the most I will lead and guide you to all truth. And that you will search the scripture for yourself. And meditate on what I'm saying. And ask the Holy Spirit to open your eyes. That you may understand what your creator is speaking to. We want to know what the, what the Spirit is bearing witness to. Probably. We need those instructions. That's how we're going to overcome the world. Okay, Ezekiel 37, verse 16. More thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for, and write upon it, 
for Judah and for the children of Judah. That's one tribe, southern kingdom, consists of several tribes, the original sons of the house of Jacob, the original 12 tribes of Israel, that sojourned down into Egypt. Joseph was there already, and 11 more walked with their father, Jacob, into Israel. Genesis Uh, Genesis 12, I believe. But you can go into Genesis 49. And it's going to tell you. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write up on it for Judah and for, I mean, 1 Kings 12. It's going to show you the breakdown of the kingdoms. Northern kingdom and southern kingdom. There's a difference. And this chapter that I'm speaking to you, which is Ezekiel, the most I spoke to the prophet to warn the people, to let them know the promise that he gave to their ancestors, the covenant he made with them, he's going to fulfill that covenant. And that's part, that's really what you're seeing in the earth today. You say the earth is in travail, the earth is in travail and out of order, because the kingdoms that you see here now that's ruling, they had their run, family. It's time to come out. That's what he means, come out from among them. Come out from among them that are not here. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write up on it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. Then take another stick and write up on it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house. Israel, his companions, and join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand. Son of man, we know who the Son of Man is, the Messiah. And join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Will thou not show us what thou meanest by these? And so sure will. It's the promise being fulfilled that was given to Jacob. Remember the most I spoke to Jacob in Genesis 28. It reminded him of the covenant that came from Abraham to Isaac. And now it was Jacob and his son. And through them that all nations, all, that all nations would be blessed. And that through him, all nations would be blessed, man. Satan is busy, Winston. Okay. Verse 19. Say unto them, Thus says Jehovah Elohim, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and will put them with, with him. That's the northern kingdom, the ten tribes that was formed under King Jeroboam. You can read about in one king. Peace, God. You can read about in one king. Even with the stick of Judah. Judah is the southern king that was formed under King Rehoboam. When the kingdom split, the original twelve remained in the southern kingdom. And make them one stick, and they shall be one in my hand. Two kingdoms coming together as one nation in the hands of the Father. What is his hand? That's his Mashiach, the anointed one. It's the one who told you if I will be lifted up, that I will draw all men. Talking about spiritual family. Hallelujah. 
and the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thine hand before their eyes. Verse 21, and say unto them, Thus said Yahuwah Elohim, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether thou be gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. And one king shall be king to them all. And there shall be no more two nations. See that? Two nations and one kingdom. Neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms anymore at all. Neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwellings, out of all their dwelling places, wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them, so shall they be my people, and I will be their Elohim. So I want you to remember that even today, family, while y'all getting all in the prison, and going crazy about voting and who gon' vote and who won't vote. We've been voting all this time and we still ain't got no remedy. Vote for God. Hallelujah. And I will cleanse them so they shall be my people. This is why. Let me read that again. Verse 23. Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 23. Neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols. So, don't come to me talking about voting or going to see this man, have that man. No. Pray to the Most High. Nor with their detestable things. Nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places. Wherein they have sinned and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people. And I will be their Elohim. It's the same people, brothers and sisters that was sent into slavery. Your people, my people. But today, it says, if you hear me, if you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Harden not your heart, friend. The most high has called me. The Spirit is with us, friend. If you're willing. Seek him while you can. They're going to give you all type of excuses and this and that. But the Lion of Judah is going to rise according to the Most High. Prophecy, family. Hallelujah. Verse 25. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob, my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt. And they shall dwell therein even they and their children, and their children's children. Forever. And my servant David shall be their prince. Forever. We got a home family. But because of our disobedience, we were removed. We were removed from that land. That's why they don't have a land for you in the history books. That's why they play as if they don't know who you are. Because it's in the Bible. It has an answer for you and everything you've been through. And it's not replacement theology. It's the written, actual written words. And my sir, okay, verse 26. More, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will place them and multiply them. And will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. My tabernacle also, also shall be with them. Yea, I will be their Elohim, and they shall be my people. He's talking to the Negroes. And all that call on the Messiah can believe and endure to the end. You got a natural branch, and you got those that are going to be grafted in of the Gentiles. Hallelujah. Verse 28. And the heathen shall know that I, Yahuwah, do sanctify Israel when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. 
Father, you hold on. Thank you for the reading, the blessing of your holy word. And may this word get into our bone marrow, where it will make us have to search. May, it, may the earth, may, the, may everything in this earth leave us in confusion until we return to you, Father. In the name of Yahushua, we want the blessing. In the mighty name of Yahushua. Shalom.